When I started in the ballast water business in 2006, um, it was quite a bit of enthusiasm around this, even among the owners. Everybody was curious what was going to happen here. And it was quite easy to get uh, ships to do tests and all these things. Then the market changed and uh, ship owners were looking into more gloomy times. And then rumors and uh, myths started popping up and that's what I will talk about. The first one was actually coming very quickly. This is not going to happen and the owners' organizations will force IMO to postpone it. Well, I think we all know that this was not exactly what happened. The second one was uh, also, it's too late to do anything because uh, ships have been carrying ballast water for so long, so what can be done? The fact is that this is a sort of silent thing going on. We don't see it. An oil spill is very visceral, uh, but it also disappears, and that nature do actually a good job to take it away. But with the invasive species, as soon as they have settled, they are there, and uh, that means that our coastal areas can meet uh, things that they would not like when you swim, or things like that. If most ship owners miss the deadlines, port state authorities will not find everyone. That was uh, after a few years, this one come up because it would be too many fines, according to some. It's no indication that uh, port state authorities will not proceed with fines for those who has not installed when they shall. And there will not be enough suppliers of ballast water treatment systems. As we have heard earlier, it's uh, more than 50 makers actually who has been granted type approval, and there are more coming. The ballast water treatment system makers will not have capacity to supply to all vessels. Let's do some mathematics here. It's around 50,000 vessels, maybe even less because uh, there will be scrapping of older ships. It's 50 makers. That means over a five-year period, 1,000 systems per maker, 200 systems per year, and some of the makers here have really large capacities. So, mathematically, this is uh, possible to meet. Prices of ballast water treatment systems will soon go down as more makers enter the market and the demand increase. I'm not so sure about that. The, the demand will be higher, and uh, at the moment, some might offer it very cheap, but if you wait to do something here, you might actually end up with the leftovers, and uh, like when you're eating, who want the leftovers? The systems that nobody wants, because they are too complex, too big, consume too much power, given these factors, it's not likely that prices will go down. Some even believe they will go up because of the demand. Environmental factors don't affect performance. Well, for the major systems, you have two sort of roads. You have UV systems and you have electrolysis systems. Uh, and then you have a few others with other technology. Uh, all are some way or another, but for the two main technologies, low temperature and low salinity will have effect on electrolytic systems. They use the salt in the seawater to make an electrolyte, an oxidant, and if the salt level is low, okay, then you face a problem. For UV system, the more dirty water, the bigger a challenge. And in, for both cases, when they are meeting these different challenges, the power goes up to meet the performance standard that the systems are made for. The ship always needs to be in dry dock for a ballast water retrofit. 
That is not exactly true in some cases. It can be installed during normal operation. It's quite common, actually, on uh, sm relatively small vessels. Uh, retrofit on voyage is uh, possible if preparations have been done. As long as you have to cut into the ballast pipe, uh, you uh, cannot actually do that while the ship is in the water. So it has to be taken up, but if drawings are approved, piping is ready, and cabling is ready, do, you can actually install on voyage up to a certain size of systems. Uh, then there are companies who have carried out a lot of these installations on smaller vessels. Installing our ballast water treatment system is easy, according to some. Actually, some of the system makers can make it seem very easy to install. But uh, that leads to underestimating of the complexity here. It, it shall come on board on a ship that is not actually built to having this on board. It shall integrate with systems on board and uh, piping, conflicts. Some, some uh, engine rooms are quite cramped when it comes to place. You are going to cut through hull and uh, is there any enough power here? So it's a lot of things to have in mind here. And uh, it is uh, many times underestimated. And this referred to something that was said a little bit earlier. It only takes a couple of months to get a ballast water treatment system. That is not exactly a fact because the delivery in including transport is six to eight months, and that is sort of an average between the makers. And uh, as the demand increase, you will need more time because all drawing has to be class approved, and uh, altogether, I would say, nine months, that's the minimum time needed. Most likely, like it was said before here, it's almost a year. Thank you very much.